creepers oh my gosh how the heck are you crazy creeps i am so happy i am out i'm just like wow i'm lost for words so about a little less than a month ago i wrote to one of my favorite artists cartoonists bill morrison who wrote who worked for the simpsons matt Groening, drawing them for the tracy allman show originally and then kind of handing off his characters to Bill Morrison in the early 90s to kind of, you know, revamp them and make them look a little bit, you know, more suitable for the sitcom they were doing. Uh, but yeah, definitely Matt's art is always one of my favorites as well. The original John Simpsons from the Tracy Allman show. But I wrote Bill, so I am stoked. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what's in this. But I just want to thank you, Bill, for not only getting back to me. Um, when I texted you and stuff, um, but to actually send back an actual handwritten letter, kind of old school snail mail. Wow, dude, I, I just got to say thank you so incredibly much from the bottom of my heart. And I haven't even opened it yet, but this just means the world to me. And like a bonehead, I forgot to put a return stamp on it. And then I sent him a message saying, oh my gosh, I'm such a bonehead. I was all excited, was looking over everything and realized I forgot to stamp the return envelope. But I'm excited, so stay tuned. We're gonna open this up from Bill Morrison, one of the one of the one of the greatest cartoonists to ever do it. Like I said, I don't want to dox myself or give out in, any info that Bill wouldn't want folks to have. But let's go ahead and open this up, man. I want to. I kind of want to. Let's see. Okay, here we go. I kind of want to save the envelope even, just because it does have the actual his actual company on there atomic art studios so oh man i should have used the letter opener i'm kind of ripping through this because i'm so excited but that's okay oh oh my gosh here we go i sent him this oh he did he signed it Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. Thank you so much, Bill. This is so incredible, dude. Holy smokes. How? How freaking rad. I sent this to him via snail mail. Oh, about a month ago. And this is actually out of the original um, Simpsons Illustrated magazines. You could pull this out and then send away for the Simpsons Illustrated. But I wanted to kind of, you know, this is his style. From the 90s he drew all the original character you know all the the really classic ones bart here a um, little different than the graining days from when he was on you know the tracy allman show is that hypno toad maybe but yeah bill thank you so much and like i told you this is definitely going into my personal collection so now i've got matt graining's bill morrison's bill oakley's oh my gosh how incredible pete gomez Oh my gosh, this is going to look so, so... Oh, and Dan Castaneda. That's right. I had the voice of Homer. So we got Grainings, Oakley's on the Who Shot Mr. Burns disc, Homer's, Dan Castaneda, and Bill Morrison. So, oh, and then of course the Pete Gomez, where he Simpsonized me back in the day and did a Kang and Kodos one for me as well and signed it. So how, how freaking cool is that? Thank you so much, Bill. This is just incredible, man. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Pretty much the whole Simpsons layer is your work, bro. I was showing you on Instagram. So maybe one of these days you can actually come down to the Creeper Cave and just take a marker and just sign everything El Barto style. Yeah, pretty much all my collection is all his drawings that Matt kind of, you know, kind of let him take over the cartooning part um, after the Tracy Ullman show. Bill Morrison was the one that did all the artwork. And pretty much all my collection is all from his, his drawings back in the day. 
one of these days I am going to do a full Simpsons tour of my room and show you guys how incredibly awesome it's getting and then also obviously I've got the arcade running this morning and his art was so good I just loved the old old look to the characters and of course I love the Tracy Allman show the best because that's kind of where they started but yeah Bill your works all throughout my my creeper cave just to give you guys kind of a better understanding too so here's what you know they looked like when they first appeared on the Tracy Allman show back in 1988 and then Matt had Bill Morrison kind of take over and I don't know just make them look a little bit more proper I guess I, I really I kind of like the I really like the old school drawings though a lot but I definitely love that Matt trusted Bill to kind of like revamp them for the show but yeah here's an old here's what they would have looked like if they would have stayed that kind of kind of sketchier drawings of them <laughs> which I love because it was Matt's you know original design of the family and they've uh, they've changed over the years, but still the Simpsons. Yep, another hot one with the Simpsons type clouds, which always remind me of the show. Not so many today, but definitely that style. And we're heading to. See a rad mural. Kind of staying on tune for the day. Approaching this do it yourself skate park here. Because I wanted to show you guys this. Well, let's go on this side. A little bit farther. Look who it is. Snowball. I think it's Snowball 3 now, maybe Snowball 2. Original Snowball dying in the first season but yeah kind of like a Bill Morrison style snowball well it is really painted right here at the skate park another cat there too and a Tony Hawk Bones Brigade looking cat and there's also a Felix all right Moving on. See you later, Snowball. Nice to see. Nice to see you alive. And if this is still here, next time we come back, the city was saying they were gonna tear it down. All right, on Hal and 52nd now, I wanted to show you guys this. We've shown you this before, but I always like seeing Mo. Not Moe's Tavern, but Moe's uh, Smoke and Bay. <laughs> I wonder if they get any crank calls here. Probably some good ones. Anyways, we're heading about a block or two from here to a place that I absolutely love. We visited there not too long ago. We're gonna go down to the donut shop and get us a homer, but yeah. Can I get a, is there an Al here? Last name, Kohalik? Oh, it always smells so good. They do have them right there. They call it the frosted strawberry, but I call it the I call it the Homer. <laughs> mm, I should say mmm forbidden donut. Yeah, it's kind of a win-win. They got all kinds of different goodies, but I notice they actually have it um, in a combo with milk, or you can get it two two donuts and a drink for four twenty-five there on the combo number one. Should be good. I'm excited. It's been a while. Got your donut. Oh yeah. You called it the Simpson donut, which is even better. Yeah. <laughs> I, I always call it the Homer. No, you can right. keep one and I'll just take the five. Thank you. Thank you very much. I Have appreciate that. Yeah, totally. Thank you. All right, we're in luck. And the donuts here are always super fresh. But yeah, she's like, oh the Simpson donut? I'm like, you know it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna go to the park, but they got the AC going. It feels so good. And I was like, man, it'd be easier. Be easier to carry if I eat one, right? That's a good excuse, so. At least at least some of it. 
Mm. Wow. What an incredibly awesome day, too. Oh, dripping sprinkles. That's even better. You know it's a good day when you're dripping sprinkles. Getting the Bill Morrison autograph sent in the mail, checking the mail this morning, having the Homer donut. Can't complain. Last time we had Voodoo's version of the Homer Donut when my buddy Adam the Woo was in Portland. We went down there and checked them out. But I have to say, that one was good, but this one is my favorite because of the sprinkles on top. Voodoo kind of puts their sprinkles in the, the, the donut. Which is a win-win, but sesame not says a me like I'm saying that says a me donut sesame you know like the sesame seed mmm I feel like Homer on the Halloween one where they're just shoving donuts he's supposed to be like in hell and they're just shoving donuts in his mouth but he doesn't mind, he just keeps eating them. So good. Is that, is that Bill Oakley across the street? I think that is, dude. I'm gonna have to go right, right over there. If it is him, I'm gonna give him a Homer donut. Got our Homer donut, come down here to Pal. We're on like about 36, cause that's 39, so. Way good. Way, way, way good. Sesame donuts, folks. Can't go wrong. And the clouds are like Simpson style today too. Check them out. So we, that was you across the street. It was me. <laughs> we were at, we were at uh, Sesame Donuts cause I was doing a whole vlog today and thank you again for your autograph. That meant a ton to me. And, clo and of course, my hoarder borderline Simpsons collection. <laughs> uh, but Bill, uh, uh, Bill Morrison sent me his autograph. Oh, wow. And so I'm kind of tying into the vlog today. But this is from me to you. It's a Homer donut. Hey, thank you for the Heck, Sesame. It's from right from Sesame. Oh, fantastic. So, yeah, man, I'm not sure if you pink? have ever had them before. No, but, oh, my. Version of these. Oh, my gosh. It is incredible. So, oh not to put you on the spot. I don't mean to. Oh, I but yeah, man, this is a, uh, oh heck yeah, dude. So look at that. That was you, that is so awesome, man. What timing? Oh, look at that. Forbidden donut. Mm. <laughs> I love these. What do you think? I love these donuts. There's some debate about whether they should be flavored strawberry or vanilla. I think this is vanilla, but it's pink. True. Um, I do love these and I do, I love donuts with sprinkles. I'm just like Homer. This is exactly the donut that I would want. Thank you very much for giving it to me. I'm Dude. gonna eat it after I have my lunch. I know, I love it. I know, it's my bre breakfast of champions, right? Oh man, that was a good donut. Just kind of biking back now. But yeah, how ironic, running into my friend Bill Oakley, the writer for The Simpsons, Futurama, got his own cartoon show now, Mission Hill. Yeah, we met up a couple weeks ago for his beer brew premiere. And yeah, even the clouds are that Simpson-esque style today. So everything was kind of meant to be. Got us the Homer donut. Ran into a good friend, one of the writers from the show. How incredible. It's just amazing how, how things work out. And really no plan, just kind of, kind of winging. I knew I wanted the Homer donut. And uh, yeah, that was awesome. It was good. And then off being able to see my friend and actually gift him with one. There goes a monorail! Even though it's not a monorail. <laughs> it's on two tracks. That's going to do it for today. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That'll ring you in to be the creeper today. You can also ring that bell. That way when I creep, you guys will be the first to creep. And if you did enjoy this, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Till next time, creeper out for now. Peace!